What is going on with everybody, man? It's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young Guy, coming to you live in the pink dungeon, giving it to you real raw rugged, and I am back in here with another review. But this time, going with a little film review, man. I just got done watching that Bo Rat, was it the subsequent film? Um, and I was like, you know what? I need to hop in the toilet and talk about this movie, man. Um, I'm a big Sasha Baron Cohen fan to kind of preference this. I'm a big fan of that type of style of humor. Uh, big Nathan For You fan. You're a real one if you know what Nathan For You is. That's a Nathan Fielder show that comes on, used to come on. Not for sure if there's going to be another season of that. Uh, Comedy Central. And it is, it is such a good show. And if you're of that, if you like like that type of comedy of um, a Sasha Baron Cohen, then I, I beg you to check out Nathan For You, season one and season two. Is it three seasons? I can't remember. But however many seasons it is, I've watched them all. I've died laughing at them all. And promise you, Nathan For You is something you got to check out. But this movie, like I said, I've watched most of uh, Sasha Bear Cohen movies. So when I seen Borat 2 was dropping, I was like, whoa, let's get it. You feel me? Let's say let's, let's get let's get straight to it. So um, I, I sit back, I cut it on and I watched it, man. No reviews, no anything. I didn't know what everybody was talking about. And uh, before we get into the movie, I watched I, I seen a couple like critiques of the movie it was like ah but, but, but part one they would never they would never top part one part one part one see i'm not a nigga that's gonna compare something like i i, I very rarely do it i'm really not a comparing type of person i will do it like here and there but i'm not that type of person if something is like a standalone thing then i let it be that I and granted, this is a part two to a movie, so it's a sequel. So I get why somebody would compare it, but that's just not me. So I feel like that's kind of a good way of going into a movie like this because I'm not comparing it to a movie that's heralded as one of the most uh, funniest movies of all time and some of people's like favorite movie of all time. So I don't even want to go in and kind of giving it those type of expectations. And even with those expectations, I enjoyed this movie so much, bro. I laughed so much. I cringe so much in a good way. Like, I can't look at this. It is such a funny movie, man. All praises due to the guy, Sasha Bear Cohen, man. He know how to put together a film, bro. I just think he's so funny. And one of the things I really appreciate about him is uh, his dedication and his discipline. There's a scene in this movie where he's living with rednecks that I'm going to talk about later in this review for five days straight. So literally, we're not seeing everything that happened within them five days. But within those five days, he stays in character throughout every second of those five days. Does not break character once. And I think that is such a commendable act. It is, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 all praises due to him right there. So. I have to uh, admire that because I admire people that have that type of dedication and that type of discipline. Like just in general, I, I, I admire um, devout Muslims who pray five times a day and who, who fast and who, who limit their diet because of their religion. I, I look at that stuff like people that practice uh, certain Eastern religions that don't do certain things because of, 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 of their teachings, uh, the teachings that they follow rather, and that discipline. And it's kind of crazy to compare his, his wild antics to like uh, spirituality. But I feel like it takes a certain person to have that type of just devout, uh, discipline about them and that's one of the things that i will always commend him um for having man and uh he did his thing but different between this movie and the mo and his other movies and that tv show that he did last year i always forget the name of it. i always call it this is america but that's child's gambino song but different between that uh the first bo rad uh 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 freaking um Wow, it's slipping my head. Where, what's, the, what's the movie where he's a gay nigga? I watched that movie so many times. Um, uh, it's going to come to my head. But yeah, that movie, um, different between those uh, those movies and those shows, he had a co-star that doggone near outshined him, man. Bro, this his his daughter thinking it was two daughter in the movie? Maria Boslevia, Boslevia, I think her name is, something along those lines. Bro, she did her thing. If she doesn't get some type of uh, Oscar, Golden Globes, whatever the white people be giving them, the, the Academy Award, hey, whatever the white people at the Academy call it, they better give her something, bro. She's a breakout star. Ain't never seen her before. I'm talking about this white woman was in her bag throughout this whole thing. She was funny. She had to improv a lot of this because it's, a lot of this is like candidate type of interviews and just scenarios that they're doing, kind of prank stuff. So it's like she has to improv all of this, or not all of it, 
but uh, but uh, a lot of this and she does such a good job with the scripted and the improv i can't ask for anything better bro she did so so good so just two hands man clap it up for her and uh, I guess just to kind of get to the spoiler alert part, the synopsis of the movie, if you uh, if you don't care about hearing it, if you haven't seen it, or if you have seen it, even though it kind of starts at the the, the, the end of Bo Rat, uh, where I guess like they just shun him. They're like, oh, you're, you're a disgrace to, Ka to Kazakhstan. So they basically fire him as a journalist and make him do hard labor for 14 years. 14 years, they're going to get him. That 14th year, they're going to get him and say, hey, we need you to go back to America because you're the only person that can do this job. Give a gifts. I mean, give a gifts. Give a gift to Mike Pence. So that gift would be his daughter. So he and his daughter end up going to America. And that's the gift because it's like, what do American men love the most? Women. And it's just the most bizarre things happen after that. And, uh, hey, man, such a good movie, bro. Some of my favorite stuff I would have to point out is the scene with the black or every scene with the black woman because usually when you see black people on stuff you know they you know but black people gotta act up they gotta be extra you know even though she didn't know i guess like she seen it was camera but she didn't know exactly what it was for but you know you know how to you know bro and then they, they love it when we yeah you hide your neighbor hide your, you know they like when we all extra and and being all crazy well, tell me why the black woman was one of like probably two or three people that had sense now, now that made me happy, boy. I was like, boy, not not a black person, the hero. She trying to say the little girl, telling the girl to love yourself. You don't need to be getting plastic surgery at 15. Like, she trying to help the world. I'm like, black woman, black woman, black woman, man. Don't we love you guys, man? So shout out to the black woman here, man. She did her thing. I really appreciate that being one of the like only people throughout the whole entire film to have some type of common sense. Like nigga, and uh, like like for example, I'm talking about her getting plastic surgery. To his daughter, she's getting plastic surgery because she's getting these big breasts to impress these American guys that's finna buy her or own her almost like basically putting her in sex trafficking with these politicians, right? So she's finna get her breast uh, enhanced. She's sitting there with her father, Bo Rat, and they're talking to the surgeon, and she asks him like, "Would you, you know, what I'm saying like 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 would you have sex with me if I got these big breasts?" And then the surgeon talking about, "Well, if your daddy wasn't here." I'm like, what? Well, let somebody say that to my daughter. I'm talking about if your daddy went hit, boy, you gonna feel daddy uh foot up your booty, boy. I'm talking about, boy, I'm a size twelve and a half foot gonna be all up your rectum, boy. <laughs> boy it's gonna be looking like a uh, <laughs> office is so crazy. <laughs> I was just so crazy, bro. I was gonna be. I was <laughs> I was gonna say it looked like a she was gonna look like a um a brown pumper homemade film. <laughs> I feel like brown pumper be doing some some wild shit. <laughs> He'd be letting girls put. I feel like Brian Pope would get to the crib and be like, yeah, ain't no cameras on. Hey, hey, so put your left finger and then put your right hand in my booty. She like, nigga, I feel like Brian Pope would do some wild stuff. So yeah, nigga, it would have been looking like a Brian Pope homemade boy. I'm talking about my foot went so far up the nigga booty, boy. The nigga brain would have been affected. So I'm, I'm just like, boy, these people is crazy, man. Everybody, almost everybody in this film is crazy, bro. From the surgeon was crazy to to, to the Mexican man that was, uh, like, literally, uh, the, the, his, his daughter hop out this, uh, hop out his box he's like he's like no put her back in the box so the the, the dude is hammering the box so the, so the little girl can't get out i'm like nigga it's a look you know it's a little girl in there right like he don't care so it's just so many crazy people in this film just gotta once again thank him for putting the spotlight that hey the black woman got some sense man that was beautiful to see uh what else happened the crazy redneck dudes the redneck dudes were interesting because one their house i love that house that house looks so cool i'm not even nigga to be like hey look at the house look at the house but that house I always admire like wooden cabins. I like always thought like when I get a lot of money, I'm gonna like cop me like a house like in the woods somewhere. And that was such a nice like uh, design to the house. So shout out to them uh, rednecks for putting work in with the house. And uh, yeah, man, I know rednecks. Like I went to school with rednecks like that. Like those rednecks had a lot of dumb things in there. Uh, a lot of rednecks are uneducated people. I, one of the smartest rednecks I knew, nigga name was David uh, Andrews. Shout out to David. Um, he was such an interesting dude. Like he was a redneck, but he like understood like black problems. Like he understood. Like he didn't like under. Like he went through himself, but he could like empathize, and I thought that was pretty interesting. But but going back to them, I, I knew rednecks like this where I wouldn't even say that they're like uh, terrible human beings. I see somebody says with KDT, like they're just kind of dumb, you know. And uh, like those type of people, I feel like if you spend enough time with them and you really see like, hey, this what women be going through. This what black people going. Through. They be like, oh, I 
I didn't even notice. Because <laughs> they, they don't know no better, man. But they helped Bo Rat out, which was insane. Um... They was they they went they took him to this concert where this nigga was talking about uh chopping uh the the Democrats off uh like 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 the Saudis do he said we gonna gas him up like the Nazi did like he was wilding and I'm talking about they, they bro they were Kodak bopping to this bro he he we all we we we, we uh what do you say we gonna chop him up just like the Saudis did I'm talking about brother they ain't been hitting the hit the woe to it brother <laughs> they, but they Kodak bopping bro I ain't never seen a nigga Kodak bop about chopping some 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 liver some some uh some liver tards up uh like like the saudis do that that's just crazy man i swear i just watched a showtime documentary on the saudi dude jamal who uh who got killed over there crazy stuff going on in saudi arabia but neither here or there um i thought that was a pretty funny scene what else scenes did i like throughout that movie uh of course the jewish scene bro he came in with this long nose, this money in his hand, he looked like the most craziest Jew, like a uh, caricature I've ever seen in my life. And he walks inside of a um of a uh, of like a church, like like a Jewish church, right? Uh, and bro, he's wild, bro. The people in there, they like, bro, what? It's like two old ladies, and she go up to him, and she's so nice. She like, feel my nose. It ain't big. You see her? Is her nose big? He was like a little bit. <laughs> I know what kind of bitch. <laughs> that was funny. And um, she was just so nice to him. She was like giving me a hug. She was trying to like basically talk to him like I was in a holocaust, like trying to educate him. Whatnot. I'm like, bro, that's the equivalent of like a white person going inside of a church, inside a black church with a KK mask on and some black people like being nice to him. So that just showed me like wow the compassion in certain people is, is is really wow and i think a big takeaway from this movie and just a lot of like everything he does almost it's so crazy how he can be outside or he could be acting like himself he cannot act like himself like he'd be acting like a completely different character it's so crazy how he could be fully not himself but that brings out the true colors in that person he's talking to or working with. I think that's so fascinating that somebody could be completely not themselves, but that version of, I guess, themselves, even even though it's not themselves, bring out the the real true colors of that person. I think that's so uh, interesting to me because I feel like even in a positive way with the black woman, like when that when that lady, uh, when, when she was feeling so compassionate for Tudor, like I said, playing a character she don't know, but the fact that she was uh, being somebody that's the complete opposite of her, it brought the 100% real genuine out of that lady. The same way that... Uh, uh, he being he being on stage singing about killing the killing the Jews, killing the Democrats, whatever, and they and they turned up and they hype. He's being so far of what his true self is in real life that brought out the real life like hate out of them. They were like, "Yeah, I feel this." It's so crazy how they can do that. That's talented because a lot of people they can sniff out a fake like, "Man, this ain't real." You know what I'm saying? But he does it so good that it brings out the true colors in those people, good or bad. And I just I'm so fascinated by stuff like that. Like I'm so fascinated. With how he could do that, man. And I can't put enough respect on Maria, man. The way she played that part, bro. She is low key still in some of these scenes, bro. Like she is doing her thing. Like when she's riding a car with the black lady, she's like, ah, women's can't drive. Or when she flashed her dress up. When she when she's with Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani basically take her to the bedroom to smash, bro. I'm talking about he did a little thing that fat niggas do. You know, a fat nigga they <laughs> a fat nigga put a chin on his neck. Man, hold on, man. <laughs> Let me, let me, let me, uh, let me, let me take it. Hold on, let me move the roll right here. Okay, there you go, <laughs> bro. He he really undressing, bro. He did the fat nigga thing. There. He, okay, <laughs> bro. I'm like, what is going on? He was about to smash a little fifteen year old girl. I'm like, bro, these nigga is sick, man. So that was crazy to me, but. Yeah, man, this is a uh, this movie was really bringing the true colors out of everybody, and that's what I feel like he does best. And she stepped into that role and played Bo Rat Jr. and did it to the T, bro. I cannot like um, express how amazed I was by seeing her play that role, man. So I just have to give her props out there. Um, I love this film, bro. I love this film. I love the way that uh, it, it was done. And like I said, people compared it to the first one. You can, but that's just not how. I, how I look at stuff. I just want to enjoy it for what it is. And boy, it is so uh, it is so good to enjoy. So hey, if you guys enjoyed this movie, let me know. If you didn't, let me know why. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Until next time, I say what I mean, I mean what I say. Haters gonna hate, players gonna play. You guys, I let your partner, man.